In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a simple cinematic video using CapCut's free features, free stock video clips, and background music. You can create the same video by downloading the sample videos using the resource links provided in the video description. First, drag all the video clips to the timeline. I will turn off the main track magnet to adjust the video clips more easily. Trim each clip to four to six seconds. Keep them short, not too long. For the last video clip, I will add a reverse effect for better results. Select all the clips, extract the audio attached to the videos and delete it. Organize the clips to create a simple story. Next, we will add the background music to the video. I have provided links to free background music in the video description. Trim the audio clip from the end and add a fade out effect. If you are not sure how to do this, check out my How to Fade In and Fade Out audio tutorial in my CapCut playlist. I will add cinematic opening black bars for the first video clip. If you are not sure how to do this, you can check out my CapCut playlist again to learn how to add cinematic black bars to your videos. Now, I want to show you the most important part of the tutorial, which is cinematic color grading. First, I will select this video for color grading. This time, I'm going to use a cinematic LUT from the Adjustment tab for color grading. I think this color tone works well for the entire video. Drag it onto the video clip and adjust the colors as I do. Since shooting environments are different, I will adjust the colors separately for each video clip. In some video clips, not only the LUT, I have to adjust the colors in the video clips also. Follow these changes to achieve the same result I got.
I will add some simple transitions between the video clips. Just keep in mind that some transitions in CapCut don't work properly. That's one of the biggest issues I have noticed with this editing tool. I will select the Whoosh transition for the first clip. Set the suitable time duration after adding the transition. For the second video clip, I will use the right transition. For the third clip, I will use the bottom right transition. As the last transition, I will use the down transition. Now I want to add a whoosh sound effect for each transition. You can download free Woosh sound effects from the CapCut Audio Library. I use this effect from a YouTube video that offers free Woosh sounds, and I have included the link to that video in the video description. For this video, I will add bird chirping background music that you can download from the CapCut Audio tab. As the last step, I will add a fade-out effect to the end of the video. If you are not sure how to do this, you can check out how to fade in and fade out video in CapCut on my playlist. Now we are done, let's see the final result. This is the end of today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching my tutorials on my channel. If you learned something here, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking the videos, and sharing them with your friends. Don't forget to watch my complete CapCut playlist and learn more about CapCut PC.